welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you how i created these diy glitter wine buckets wine glasses and wine bottle all right so stay tuned if you are new on my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and when you subscribe just hit that bell right beside it so that you don't miss any of my uploads and to all my returning subscribers i just want to let you guys know how much i appreciate you thank you for coming back and as usual go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share so guys these are the items that i'm gonna be glittering today and as for my wine i may take this paper off i'm not sure as yet and these are the glitter in my last glitter video a lot of people have been asking me what type of glitter i use this is the glitter that i use and i purchased it in walmart and it's from the brand Sulin, and it's extra fine ruby red glitter and i'm also going to be using this pink one from the same brand and they're all from walmart these are my wine glasses from the dollar tree and this is my i'm going to be using the gloss mod podge from walmart as well and this is a bowl that i'm going to be using as my wine bucket all right so i'm gonna glitter it and this i bought this in ross i wanted one from the dollar tree but um they mentioned it on their website that they have the plastic ones but when i went there they didn't have any so maybe if you guys are going to try this diy you can find it at your dollar tree all right so and i'm also going to be using these from their 84 cents usually when you use them to do your glitter it gets hard so you have to throw them out and buy new ones and these are only 84 cents at walmart as well they they come in different sizes depending on what you're using them for i, I opted for the smaller ones because i'm going to be doing the bottom of the glass so i'm just going to use the small ones for all my items all right so i'm just going to pour my mod podge in a container so that i don't get glitter in the whole bottle so i'm just going to be starting off with my wine bottle and as you can see i removed the tag from it because it wouldn't match with my glitter that i'm using because i'm going to be using the pink and i'm just going to use my mud podge and smooth it all over the bottle and then i'm going to apply my glitter as i go along so um just a suggestion if anyone is watching and want to try this on their wine bottle so if for instance you want to give someone for an anniversary gift or you want, just want your valentine's table to look really beautiful and you decide to do a wine bottle as well just make sure that you get a wine bottle that is not this dark because i had to do about four coating of glitter to get it to really look outstanding because it was you know it wasn't as clear, so it took a lot of coating. Because of how dark the bottle is, I'm probably gonna have to give it like three or four coatings. So I'm just gonna allow this to dry and then I go over. So it took about 10 to 15 minutes before it was dried. And now I'm just gonna go over with my Mud Podge again, making sure that it's smooth as possible. And then I'm gonna add my second coating of glitter. And I did that for about four times. So while my wine bottles are drying for their next coating, I went in and I started my wine glasses and what I did was use my painter's tape to mark off because I only wanted to do the stem. So I used the painter's tape to mark off where I wanted the glitter to stop. So now I'm just going to do the same thing to my wine glasses and then I move on to my wine buckets. So as for my wine glasses. 
the pink was a bit light so I had to go in and give it three coating in order for it to stand out and look more vibrant so if you're gonna use the pink you may want to consider that unless you get a brighter pink but this pink is really pretty and I liked it so it wasn't a problem for me to give it three coating it looks fine with two coating but I wanted to be more stand out more so I gave it three coating in all And as I said in my last glitter video, you want to have something underneath, some form of paper to catch your glitter so that it doesn't go to waste and then you can just pour it back into your container and reuse. So for my wine bucket, I'm going to change my sponge and I'm going to change my container for my Mod Podge because you don't want to mix the red with the pink. So yeah, I know someone is watching and saying that's not a wine bucket, but that's okay. I call it whatever I want to call it. <laughs> I buy it for that purpose and I'm going to turn it into a wine bucket. So it's going to be my glass glitter wine bucket. So as you can see from the first coating that the red is already looking so vibrant. I really love this ruby red. What I would have done differently is leave leaving the stem for last because that was the only place that I had to to um, maneuver this um, project. But yeah, <laughs> that's my mistake. So what I had to do is when I turn it over, I did the stem afterwards because I started the stem at first but then I realized it wasn't gonna work so yeah that's what I would have done differently is leaving that stem part for the last So this is my last coating for my wine bottle and then I'm going to go in and seal with my Mod Podge when everything is dried. So this is what I'm doing right here. Everything is now dried and I'm going over with a thin layer of Mod Podge just to seal the glitter in. Alright, so that it doesn't come off on your hand when you hold the glass and stuff like that. Everything is going to be sealed. So you can take it a step further. If you're going to give someone this for a gift or something and... You just want it to have that extra shine you can order epoxy from amazon 
and add it as a last coating so that it can look more glossier but this is just for me for my personal use or most time people who are selling these online they will use epoxy but it's not that serious for me so these are just some dollar tree red roses some fake ones you can buy the real red roses on valentine's night if you're gonna do this diy you can sprinkle some real red roses on your table also some pink whichever you prefer and let me know in the comment section if you're gonna try this diy for your valentine's night a lot of person who love to celebrate valentine's day will not be able to do that because of what's happening right now so you can do your own thing create your own stuff and stay at home thank you so much for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up before you go and don't forget to share this video with your friend and if you still haven't subscribed as yet please just go ahead and subscribe and thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video